Nick Outlander. Bennett feels he can give something else, though. Lander just getting ahead of Bennett, and there's words crossed between them. What an atmosphere up here. Well, it looked as though Bennett was done there. Yes, it looked like that uh, Bennett was done, but we could see Lander maybe just uh, made that effort and uh, came over him and, and see... Uh, yeah, ran Next one to go. Next one to go. Goodbye, Mick. Rigoberto Ran. He's ridden really well over the last few days. He really now has to grit his teeth for this final kilometre, 400 metres. Oh, it looks as though it's not going to be another Colombian win on Independence Day. Can Lander do it in front of the legions of Basque fans you can see there? Every other flag is a Basque flag. Thomas, right on the back of this group. Just keep an eye on the defending tour champ. 19 seconds of Alberde, over a minute to Mass now, 2.17 to Quintana, and Adam Yates losing the tour today as well, I'm afraid. He is four and a half minutes down. Just over a kilometre to go. They are everywhere. They're encroaching on the world. I tell you what, you can hardly see the riders here, Sean. Oh, now Bookman. Bookman to the front and an acceleration. And there are splits in the group behind. It's Bookman who is with Bernal, who is with Pino. And then there's a small gap. And Geraint Thomas, for the first time, is in trouble. Geraint Thomas, the defending tour champion, looks like he might be about to lose time. But look at Alaphilippe hanging on. This is incredible, Sean Kelly. Yes, well, Alaphilippe still uh, hanging on quite well there. And Geraint Thomas just getting into a bit of difficulty. And we're on this uh, real difficult section here. And uh, yeah, just a uh, kilometre inside the kilometre to go. Geraint Thomas is suffering for the first time in this Tour de France. George Bennett, the man who put him in that danger, just sitting behind on his wheel having done his job. Now Thomas needs to hope that there's a little bit of a looking around here because we have Pino in the white, we have Bernal behind. In the yellow and black, you can see Krausweg, and nobody's managed to get rid of Alaphilippe yet. He could be the man to take the stage. Buchmann now hits the front once more. Pino and Lander, as Lander looks behind, and we are six riders at the front of the Tour de France. It's stage 14. There is a huge prize on offer. It's the Tourmalet, and the champion is in trouble, I'm afraid. The champion is losing ground. Geraint Thomas, one and a half minutes behind at the start of the day, looks as though he's going to be even more behind Alaphilippe, who could well extend his lead. All the talk of cracking, and it's Uran who's coming back, and this is a pretty serious crack for Thomas here in the last kilometre. Yes, it is. He's uh, really struggling here. You can see there's uh, Rigoberto Uran coming by there, and you know, if you have anything left, you try and just cling on and get in the wheel of uh, somebody coming by, but Thomas suffering big time here, and you're know, going to lose time. Lander also starting to struggle a little bit. Just look at Alaphilippe here. He's watching and waiting. We joked about this when we sat down today. The last 100 metres or so suit him. It's all uphill, it's plus 10% as Geraint Thomas continues to lose seconds. 500 metres to go for him, but it's Pino with an opportunity at the front. 375 metres to go. You wait 32 years for a Frenchman to win in yellow. Could it happen again? Alaphilippe towards the back, who's going to be the first to launch? 300 metres to go. It's Krausweg there looking for that first huge win in his career as well. Pino, Bernal is there as Pino now accelerates at the front. 250 metres to go. Buchmann, the big surprise of the day. What a ride he's having. The tourmalet has been waiting all day. We've had some legendary racing and Pino's going to try and make it even better. Pino at the front for France again. They were already enjoying this tour with Alaphilippe who waits and is ready to pounce once more. It's Pino who's riding away. They've ridden since the start of the day. It is Rupama FTG going for it. But there's still 100 metres to go. Pino on the pedals. Out the go. And it's his year. It's his time. Timo Pino's going to do it. We have waited and waited for him to come of age. The legends, the great, the glorious have all suffered to success here. These mighty mountains have seen so much, but the celebrations can start. Step forward, Thibaut Pino. That was incredible. It's Alaphilippe who finishes second amazingly. He takes bonus seconds. He extends his lead in the jail jersey.